Welcome compadres. Today I'm going to go through an Excel example on how to evaluate whether a joint will separate or not. So in the aerospace and defense industry you have a lot of uh, situations where the load produced on the fastener uh, can cause lots of problems. One of the criteria we evaluate is joint separation. So if you look at this diagram right here Essentially, we're looking at two things, the preload and the external load. The preload force is going to be the same felt between all members. Your bolt will be in tension and your members will be in compression. Because they're in contact with each other, they're going to feel the same preload force between the two. In the previous video, we applied an external load and we treated this system as springs in parallel. So when you apply an external load P, the load, uh, percentage of the load gets transferred between both the bolt and the members based on the stiffnesses between the two. So what we're really evaluating when we evaluate joint separation is we're comparing the preload to the external load on the members portion of it. So we can see down here the force felt by the member is going to be equal to the external load transferred to the members as shown here, which is going to be in tension, minus the preload force, which is going to be in compression. And if you recall, based on the stiffnesses, the preload transferred to the members is going to be 1 minus this constant C times the external load P. And we need to make sure that basically the preload is greater than the external load transferred to the members. That's all we're really evaluating in this case. So let's go to the spreadsheet portion of it to see what inputs go into this to evaluate joint separation. So the inputs you're going to need to evaluate joint separation include fastener diameter, threads per inch, the torque applied to the bolt, the prevailing torque, which is essentially the torque required to overcome the friction between the threads as you torque a bolt down. So this is the torque that uh, you're going to get um, that's not going to produce any clamping force or externally elongate the bolt. A torque coefficient is another input. Um, 0.2 is used quite often. The external axial load applied to the joint, which you pull from your FEA analysis. The axial load carried by the fastener, which we determined in the previous video using the frustrum method. And then a safety factor. I'm using 1.15 in this case. So it's a real simple calculation. The first step is to calculate the preload force. So it's equal to the torque applied to the fastener divided by the torque coefficient divided by the diameter of the fastener. And actually uh, the inputs include uh, in this VBA function include the fastener diameter but it also includes the prevailing torque so we have to uh, subtract that from our actual torque um, to uh, calculate this preload. So I'll pull that up in a second so you calculate a preload force and then next you calculate the external load required to overcome the preload force so we're just using this equation right here it came from basically our, our free body diagrams over here um, we just use this and we solve for the external load So next we calculate a margin of safety, which is just going to be that value right here divided by the safety, safety factor times the external load that you pull from your FEA minus 1. So those are the inputs, external axial load, and then factor safety, and then the external load required to overcome the preload force between for the joint members. And so next um, one thing we do is we want to make sure this number is positive but we also we may want to drive down our torque sometimes so we can just 
um, go ahead and put in adjust our torque that we apply to the fastener and we get uh, we can look at our factor our margin of safety and, and see if what we did was uh, going to uh, keep us positive so you can just play what if and uh, go back to your designer and say hey these are the this is the torque I need you to apply to the fasteners to keep the joint from separating um, so that's one of the inputs we can change so if I go to the VBA code real quick um, one thing I want to show down here is the preload from torque um, it's essentially going to be the torque applied to the fastener minus the prevailing torque divided by the torque coefficient times the diameter of the fastener um, so that's this that's this VBA function right here um, just wanted to show you guys that because it wasn't indicated over here in the written equation so yeah there's a lot more that goes into this um, not only do you have to evaluate joint separation you also have to evaluate joint slip and fastener fatigue so all these uh, all these failure modes go hand in hand so we'll build onto that in the upcoming videos but for now I hope you enjoyed this video and you understand how to determine if your joints gonna separate or not so I'll see you next time adios